YouTubers, the new time travel Jaime88. I'm back with another video review, and today I'm doing another Star Trek movie review. Yep, and today I'm going to review Star Trek First Contact. Yes, this is the best of these out of the Star Trek movies film series in the future film. It's one of the best movies. All time in 1996. Anyway, before we get to review, I just want to give a quick shout out to Karate Fan 283. Karate Fan 283, your videos are awesome. Keep up the good work. And those of you who don't know who Karate Fan 283 is, go ahead and check out his channel on YouTube. Yes, he is fantastic. Anyway, let's get on to the review of Star Trek First Contact. The story has Captain Jean-Luc Picard having nightmares about being transformed to Locutus of Borg. When he wakes up, he finds like a little nanite piercing out of the skin. Then, he got to receive a message from Admiral Hayes that is the battling on Deep Space Five. It's battling at, on Sector 0001. And Picard said, yes, he knows the Borg. So, commanding on the brand new USS Enterprise, NCC-701E, a sovereign class starship, that he know he had countered the Borg many times. And he says this will be his last time he countered the Borg. No, it's not. So, Admiral Riker discusses that he wants to go to battle the Borg. And Picard replied, we're not going nowhere. So the Enterprise orders to patrol the neutral zone. Or the Romulan neutral zone. So the, the commander of the force says, the Enterprise East has advanced most technology in spaceship. We're ready to fight the Borg. Then, Commander Riker came by and told Picard during interrupting his music, it finished the, the sensor sweep. Then, Deanna Troy received a message that a word from the free, they engaged the Borg. So, Picard took the command of the Enterprise and the battles, and he hears some distress calls from other star starships to synthesizing the Borg and then attack. So, the Enterprise set course to maximum speed. Then Commander Data replied to heck with our orders. So the Enterprise heads warp speed to Earth and the board is taken over and battling. Commander Worf was piloting the USS Defiant took heavy damage. The Admiral Hage starship was destroyed. So they fought and Defiant losing life support. The Enterprise beamed the Defiant crew aboard. And so they used some phasers and quantum torpedoes to de destroy the Borg cube. And I've never seen this green blow flames out. It's, that's very weird. So anyway, me back to the review. A unidentified Spork Spear is heading to Earth. They're using a like an atmosphere type, like a vor time vortex. So what they follow through the, the Enterprise, follow the Borg spear into the, like a time vortex spear to prepare to stop, to prepare the damage they've done. At Earth, Montana, Zafra Cochran and Lily discovered there's an Ica. Though, uh, no, there's a Borg firing at Earth. So the Enterprise E came out of there, fired the, on the the Borg spear. So they're reaching there. It was April fifth, two thousand sixty-three. The and the Borg trying to do to stop first contact. So Picard and his crew beamed down to Earth. They found all the survivors on there on the planet. This to saying heavy damage. Cause of radiation buildup. 
and they discovered the Phoenix until Lily shoots like a gun and fires. Hold your fire. We're trying to help you. And Lily said, fat chance. Yeah. So, Data being down, he's greetings, and Lily pass out. They being the board of the Enterprise back. However, the Borg beam on the Enterprise to snatch every crew out of there. Not only the Picard and his team beam back on the Enterprise and they took over the engineering section of the Enterprise and make into a Borg hive. So they use a fire process to shoot at the Borgs. However, Commander Data was kidnapped by the Borg. How make the sensualizing? Lily told Picard, you know, "Why he doing here aboard the Enterprise? How he how she got up here?" So command. So Lily told Picard, begging to go to get me out of here. There's no way out of the Enterprise. The Enterprise is an oxygen atmosphere outside. And Picard shows Lily, it's one of my favorite, Australia, New Guinea, the Solomons. Montana will be up soon. You may want to hold your breath. It's a long way down of there. <laughs> That's one of my favorite scenes on there. So, they meet Zephyr and Cochran about the transwarp capabilities. Everything knows about it. So, Picard and, the, and Lily has to go into a holodeck, into a sweep, and now the Borg, how to stop the Borg? Picard used like a old-fashioned 50s, 30s Tommy gun to stop the Borg. And they take it over the Enterprise. So, Picard, Worf, and Ensign Hulk travel outside the spacesuit, and they find the collector is making assemblies into the Enterprise deflector dish. And what's been known, Ensign Hayes has been Borgified. So, after the battle and releasing the dish, Commander Worf said, assimilate this. They fire on the dish and blows up the Borg. So, they use the Phoenix to beam now out of here and the launch for the pre-sequence. Then, Picard refused to self-destruct the Enterprise. Lily said, we'll blow it up, let's do it. And we're not sacrificing Picard to a war. We would not lost the Enterprise and we're never going to lose him. Well, it, technically, the Enterprise lost. As you know, Star Trek Three, Kirk s- self-destruct the Enterprise and blow him up. He lost the Enterprise. Then Lily told Picard, you have to s- fight the Borg. And he said, John Luke, blow up the darn ship. And Picard replied, smash all the pieces, the replicas, and the Enterprises. The board was redrawn yet. Not yet. The line must be drawn here. This far, no far. And I will make them pay for what they've done. So, Picard changed his mind about preparing to self destruct the Enterprise. To, meanwhile, to prepare for the launch of the Phoenix, go, the first warp fly up into space. However, Picard has been. Seen by the new villain, the Boar Queen. The Boar Queen is able to conquer Earth. So they use Commander Data as a technology to destroy Captain Picard. Picard trying to let him go, but Data refuses. So, at the end, Data bursts out the plasma coil, and that's the end of the Boar Queen. So, the, the Phoenix... Uses the first warp drive test similar and head back to Earth. So at the end, the Borg Queen is gone. Everything else is back to normal. Oh. And the Enterprise is heading right back into the 24th century. Star Trek First Contact, the best movie. Let me give you guys the, my, my thoughts of the movie. Star Trek First Contact, the best. Best darn movie of 1996. I love it. It's got action pack, all the and stunts and the great special effects.
on it. And, and you know, it was nominated in for Best Visual Effects, the Best Score of 1996 in the Oscars. So I give Star Trek First Contact 10 out of 10. Anyway, let's take a look at the tape. Even though know, this is the widescreen edition, has the Link Tincture holographic cover. Here's the spine, the other spine, the back, I mean the top, sorry, and here's the back. It's one of the top, I mean one of the 10 best films of the year, you'll love this film. And Jim Ferguson of the Preview Channel says, Star Trek First Contact is one of the action films that has it all. It's rated PG-13. And here's a tape with Star Trek First Contact. No end label. The print date, March 4th, 1997. All right. That's it for this review. Shout out goes to... Jedi Master Horton, the Tugboat Dude 98, that Trekkie Girl. Thanks for watching.